Hello students, welcome to the online lecture of mathematics. We are studying chapter number 14, Algebraic Formula, Expansion of Square. Previous lecture, all of you are studying formulas of expansions of square a plus b bracket whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and a minus b bracket whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Few sums on it from practice set 50. Today we are going to learn expansion of a plus b into a minus b. For this, first we are going to prove a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b by geometrically. Let us prove. To prove that, first construct a square whose area is a square as the area is a square its side is equal to a unit. Now subtract a small square whose area is b square so which length will be b unit. Now look at the shaded portion. It is a square minus b square but we need to prove a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. To prove that we are going to divide shaded portion into two portions. First, I am trying to find area of blue portion which is shown by the arrow whose length is a unit and the breadth is as the total length is a and as we subtract b from that we get a minus b units. So the area is a multiplied by a minus b. Now second portion its length a minus b unit. As total length is a unit, we subtract b from it, we get a minus b units. And its breadth is b units. Now its area is b multiplied by a minus b, which is equal to b into a minus b square unit. Now adding these two portions, we get a square minus b square is equal to a multiplied by a minus b plus b multiplied by a minus b. I took a minus b common from both the terms. What left a and b here and in the middle plus sign? We get a minus b in one bracket and a plus b in another bracket that is we want to prove. a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b or a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now let us multiply the algebraic expression and obtain the form a plus b into a minus b is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equal to a in the bracket a minus b plus b in the bracket a minus b. Simplifying the bracket we get a square minus a b plus a b minus b square is equal to a square minus a b plus a b cancel minus b square. We get a square minus b square. Therefore, a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Here, we get the new formula of expansion a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square which is third one. From this lesson, now let us solve sums related to it from practice set 51. Question number 1. Use the formula to multiply the following. In this question, we have given two terms in the two brackets and we just say only sign is different. In first question, we have given in first bracket x plus y and in second bracket x minus y means both the terms are same. On the sign is different. For solving these questions, we are going to use the formula of expansion a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Let us solve one by one. Sum number one x plus y into x minus y. In this example, in first bracket we have given x plus y and in second bracket we have given x minus y. Means First term and second term both are same, only sign is different, one is plus and one is minus. 
Question 4. For solving this example, we are going to use the formula a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Here, at the place of a, we will write x and at the place of b, we will write y. By using the formula a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square, we write at the place of a plus b in the bracket x plus y and at the place of a minus b we write x minus y is equal to at the place of a square we write x square and at the minus at the place of b square we write y square. We get the expansion x plus y into x minus y is equal to x square minus y square. Sum number 3 a plus 6 multiplied by a minus 6. In this sum in a first bracket we have given a plus 6 and in second bracket a minus 6. In both the bracket terms are same only signs are different. In first bracket we have given plus sign and in second bracket we have given minus sign. For finding the expansion of a plus 6 into a minus 6, we are going to use the formula of expansion a plus b into a minus b. So, at the place of a, we will take small a and at the place of b, we will take 6. And by using the formula of expansion a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square, we will write at the place of a plus b, a plus 6. At the place of a minus b, a minus 6 is equal to at the place of a square, a square minus at the place of b square, 6 square. So we write a plus 6 into a minus 6 is equal to a square minus 6 square. Is equal to a square minus 6 square 36. Therefore we write a square minus 36. Therefore, by multiplying a plus 6 into a minus 6, we will get a square minus 36. Sum number 4, x upon 5 plus 6 into x upon 5 minus 6. In this sum, in the first bracket, we have given x upon 5 plus 6 and in second bracket, we have given x upon 5 minus 6. In both the bracket, here also, terms are same, only signs are different. In first bracket, we have given plus sign. And in second bracket we are given minus a. Therefore, for doing the multiplication of x upon 5 plus 6 into x upon 5 minus 6, we are going to use the formula of expansion a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Here, for the place of a, we will take x upon 5 and at the place of b, we will take 6. And at the place of a plus b, we will write x upon 5 plus 6. And at the place of a minus b, we will write x upon 5 minus 6 is equal to a square. At the place of a square, we write x upon 5 bracket square minus at the place of b square, we will write 6 square. Therefore, by multiplying x upon 5 plus 6 into x upon 5 minus 6, we will get x square upon 25 minus 36. Question number 2. Use the formula. To find the value. In this question, two numbers multiply to each other and we have to find the value of that multiplication by using the formula. In this question, first we have to write that numbers in the form of addition and subtraction to use the formula. And then we have to use the formula of expansion of a plus b and a minus b to get the values. Sum number 1. 502 multiplied by 498. First, we have to convert these numbers in the form of addition and subtraction. One important thing I am going to tell you when converting the numbers in addition and subtraction, first look the unit place of the given number. If the unit place number is less than 5 or 5, then do the addition. And if unit place number is bigger than 5, then in that number to the subtraction. For example, our first number is 502. In 502, unit place is 2, less than 5. Therefore, we convert 502 in the form of 500 plus 2. And our second number is 498. In this number, our unit place number is 8, which is greater than 5. Therefore, we are using here subtraction operation. Then we convert 498 
as 500 minus 2. Then we can write 502 multiplied by 498 is equal to at the place of 502, 500 and plus 2 and at the place of 498 multiplied by 500 minus 2. Now here we get in first bracket 500 plus 2 and in second bracket 500 minus 2. Now in the both the brackets terms are same only sign are different. So we write at the place of A 500 and at the place of B 2. By using the formula of expansion A plus B into A minus B is equal to A square minus B square we will write at the place of A plus B 500 plus 2 into at the place of a minus b 500 minus 2 is equal to at the place of a square 500 square minus at the place of b square 2 square 500 square 500 square is equal to 5 square 25 and 2 zeros become double means 4 zero on 25 we get 4 zero which become 2 lakh 50 thousand minus 2 square 4 by doing the subtraction we get 249,996. Therefore, the value of multiplication of 502 multiplied by 498 is equal to 249,996. Sum number 2, 97 multiplied by 103. In this example, we have to find the value of multiplication of 97 multiplied by 103 by using the formula. For this, first we have to convert 97 and 103 into addition and multiplication form. In 97, at the unit place 7 is there, which is greater than 5, therefore we convert 97 in the form of 100 minus 3. And in 103, unit place digit is 3, which is smaller than 5, therefore we are going to convert this 103 in the form of 100 plus 3. So we can write 97 multiplied by 103 is equal to 100 minus 3 multiplied by 100 plus 3. Now in the first and second bracket both the terms are same only sign is different in first bracket minus sign and in second bracket plus sign. We can find the value of multiplication by using the formula of expansion a plus b and a minus b. So here at the place of a we will write 100 and at the place of b we will write 3. By using the formula of expansion a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square, we will write at the place of a plus b 100 minus 3 into at the place of a minus b 100 plus 3 is equal to at the place of a square 100 squares minus at the place of b square 3 square. Therefore, we write 100 minus 3 into 100 plus 3 is equal to 100 square minus 3 square is equal to 100 square 10,000 minus 3 square 9. By doing the subtraction of 10,000 minus 9, we will get 9,991. Therefore, we will get the value of multiplication of 97 multiplied by 103 is equal to 9991. Like this way, we will do the multiplications of bigger number easily by using the formula. Here we complete the practice set 51. Next lecture, we are going to factorize the algebraic expressions.